walk away from Todd and his money. Right now. Tonight. And never look back. <laughs> simple question. Do you have the guts to leave Todd and his money? Do you know what you're asking? I know exactly what I'm asking. Do you? I can't. say that. Oh, you feel better now? Better? Blair, come on. We, um, we both know what's going on here tonight. Addie said what she said about you loving me, not Todd. And you and Todd got into a fight about it. He got angry and walked away and left you alone yet again to feel sorry for yourself. Poor Blair. Got herself trapped in an empty, loveless marriage. If only there was some way that she could get out of the marriage and keep all that money. But that's impossible. Then there's good old dependable cord. She thinks if she could just find him, you know, nice situation, little, little moonlight. Get him all hot and bothered. Get him to say that he still cares. Might make those millions a little easier to swallow, huh? wrong about me. Okay, okay. Fine. I love the money. But it's not just about me. Did you see my mama's face tonight? Did you see it? How happy she was when I did that. And this little baby inside me I wanted to have everything that I never had. Everything. Family, security, oh, now that is the end. And is it a sin for me to reach out to you to tell you how I feel, Gord? Is it? Is it? Yes. It is. <laughs> for you. No more. No more. Hey, I didn't realize we couldn't even mention Blair's name. Look, Why don't you just drink alone? Sorry, all right? I didn't mean to snap at you. It's, it's just been one of those days. It's... Yeah, we'll join the club. aren't exactly friendly. Who, me and Bo? Oh, come on. We're practically family. Is everything a joke to you, Todd? No, not everything. In fact, there's one thing that's not funny at all. Of course, it hasn't been born yet. Oh, I get it. Now, baby, that's why you got married. You're really nosy, you know that? 
like, um, sorry. Yeah, that's what we got, man. So what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have a kid, Sam. And that kid is not gonna look down on me like Bozo and his snobby friends. I mean, that kid's not gonna care about my past. Just care about who I am now. Hey, look at Manning over there, so smug. Likes to call that rag newspaper he is the conscience of the community. I like to roll up. A Everybody cup. knows Todd printed that so-called expose on the LPD just to get back at us. But the harm's been done. If people start believing that cops are selling guns. No, to the kids. accusations are groundless. When you force Todd to print a retraction, he'll look like a bigger fool than ever. What if they aren't groundless, Andy? What if Manzo's report proves that? Not in Landview. It could happen anywhere. All it takes is one bad cop. Now, I'd hate to think that anybody in our department would be capable of doing something that low. Those poor people on Angel Square, they've got it tough enough without some dirty cop making it easy for their kids to kill each other. Yeah, well, we'll cruise the Angel Square area more tonight, make sure everything's settled down after all that stuff to dance. I don't even like you on that detail. You've been spending too much time with Max, you know that? I know, I know. You can take care of yourself, but... <laughs> Thanks. Andy, listen. Now, this is your boss talking. This is not your brother, Max. You watch your back. This Angel Square is going to be one tough neighborhood. Hello? Great. First my stupid car, and now this stupid phone. Come on, I can't stay here all night. <laughs> Hello. <sighs> There's got to be another phone around here somewhere. I gave you this report. Just give me the short form, Nick. Well, we did a complete inventory of all the weapons confiscated by the department. Thompson checked it six times. And? And, well, as much as I hate to say it, Todd Manny could be onto something. Handguns are missing. <laughs> yeah, heard enough. Heard more than enough. We got work to do. <laughs> You know, I have seen some cheaters in my time. I photographed them in hotel rooms, as a matter of fact. And you are the cheatingest cheater I ever met. Wrong, man. I just have a talent for hangman. Uh -huh. See, it takes one to know one. <laughs> you pay up. Oh, what? You want my peanuts? Okay, hot shot. Open wide. No. Come on. No, I can't throw peanuts at me. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. Here. Have another one. No. Oh. Missed the bucket. <laughs> you down here looking for some action? No, no, my, my, my car broke down and, and I can't, I wanted to use the phone. I'm trying to use the phone. Oh, the phone, oh, the yeah. phone! Yo, she wanted to use the phone, Javier. Yo, lady, that phone is busted. See, that phone's been busted ever since I was born. Excuse me. <laughs> Would you please excuse me? What? <laughs> excuse us, lady. Kind of whacked, all right? But you like that purse there? I just want to go home. Yeah, you want to go home. I want to go home. First of all, you're going to have to give us a present. You know what we want, right? So why don't you just give it up? You don't want it to hurt you. Come here, lady. Come here. Give me that first. Give me that first. Give me that first. Let it go. Let it go. Let's go. Let it go. Stop, you stupid fool. To her, bro. Get up, man. Let's go. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> 